I actually did it. I really, I did it. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and that's right, I have made a lot of progress on the free to play. Now, <clears throat> I've been working diligently this morning, and I wanted to share some cool things with you. Obviously, I am out of silver again, which is the number one issue for early game players, I think, is silver. I mean, Plarium, you can easily fix this. Just add a zero everywhere that you give us silver. Now, what did I do? I unlocked the Guardian Ring, okay? I did it. I unlocked the Guardian Ring. I don't have a fifth four-star champion as food that I can put you know, levels into, so I just threw my armager in there, but I have four four-star chickens that are going to turn into five-star chickens in like two days. I did that before unlocking the gem mine, so I actually think that is going to pay off more to unlock this first, and it was cheaper. It was 1,200 gems to unlock this, and it's 1,500 gems to get this to level 3. Now, I think with my next gems, I'm going to unlock this and then start my gem mine. But what do you guys think of starting the Guardian Ring first? I think this is going to give me a huge edge in leveling up my champions on my account. Because as soon as those are ready, then I will be able to level up my next six star okay deacon is still not 60 <laughs> shockingly and i think my next six star is going to be rio but honestly i've been debating between genbo as well so rio or genbo who should i six star next let me know in the comments below i also do want a six star trumbor at some point and i don't know if i need sepulcher or not so then we would be heading to the vault and I don't know, I think I might just want to spread out and make a bunch of 40s and 50s for my faction war teams. Because there's no one that like really pops out. Um, I guess Nagorio would be really great to have at 60. That would give me another nuker and help me clear the waves really quickly. But I guess I would consider that as well. So, what do I have to show you today other than that insanity? Well... I was able to finish in gold one for the first time. And I think I could have been finishing in gold one previous. I just didn't think that I could, so I didn't try. So let's get our first gold chest on the account. Oh, we got an ancient shard. We got some gems. We got some five star gear, which is all great. All of that is great. This is a four star piece which is embarrassing, Polarium. Stop that. Uh, we also did get rewards in 3v3. That adds up, right? We're at 1,500, and I have been buying the fragments to be able to complete the Broadmaw fusion. Yes, Broadmaw. And you can see that I've purchased both of these, so that's going to be what I'm doing here, and then I'm going to start buying the Drekstar Fragments, I think, very soon. So, in addition to that, I got the first Max Chest on Brutal! Yes, I did! I also got the Max Chest on Hard, so let's go ahead and claim those right now. Okay, still fine. Brews are actually really helpful right now. And we did not take down Brutal again. Ooh, that's rough. We need to be working on Brutal, clanmates. We need to be working on Brutal. So I'm hitting right in between these two, around 9 million or so on Brutal right now. And then when I level up my next champion, then I will be able to, you know improve that even more which i'm super excited about so i wanted to show you uh some faction war action today because today is shadowkin and i'm very excited to put genbo in this team let's make sure that i'm not missing anybody and i actually think all five of these champions have gear 
So let's see if we can three star level seven here on this boss. And then I'm hoping we can get some more stars up above here in the double digit levels because that's how we're going to be able to get the um epic yeah the epic materials for perception which that's how we are going to be able to forge our five and then hopefully six star gear i don't know what we're doing here with rio i don't think her cleanse is ready but I think we're going to be able to, to clear this. I'm not 100% sure. This actually seems decent. We have uh, freaking Warcaster over here giving unkillable. Come on, Rio. Or block damage. No, cleanse, Rio. Okay, the minions are almost dead. Don't kill anybody. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with fire. Clear this. Get the three stars. And you can see, like, I have two level 30s here. I have a level 40. Admittedly, Rio's carrying here. Admittedly. Uh-oh. It's gonna be close. Gonna be close. Oh, we got continuous heals. There we go. Alright, alright. And. Now we're feared. That's enough. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then every star that you can complete is going to give you more resources. And you can see here that I have an ancient shard coming up. And then I will continue farming here. You don't necessarily need to see that. Why don't I do that and pause the video and then come back and tell you how much I was able to get. Okay, 9 was easy, but I think with people at 30, um, I might have to, or I might not be able to get stage 10 three-starred, but I think I'll be able to get stage 10 completed. And then I think that this is going to be my first faction where I actually put some effort into the team. Like, this is a perfectly fine team that with level 50s i could be beating the second boss i think maybe not but pretty close i i think that it's pretty close so this would probably be the first team that i would i don't know <laughs> after saying that now my whole team is dead um so maybe we can't even beat this level but I think, I think with a little bit of effort, this team uh, can be somewhat legit. Now we're going to see if Riho can solo the rest. As it turns out, no, she definitely cannot, okay? But that is still fine. Now, not all of my teams look like that, right? I did get the Ancient Shard, though, which is really important. Like, my Undead team, I got nobody. I got nobody. And I'm going to sacrifice all of these... Like, I don't know, like, we could try running an all-Death Knight squad here and see what happens. But, like, I just, I don't think I really have any champions. Certainly these don't have gear. I don't know, so you're telling me there's a chance kind of a situation here. Let's run it through and see. And Death Knight for the win, apparently. So, it's worth running. You know, we'll get some one-star glyphs that can be useful um those rare materials will give us silver so we'll definitely run this on super raids and it'll take like 20 minutes but that's fine okay uh the the main thing that i've been doing is saving shards also i have 37 ancient shards and two sacreds like this is getting up into the legit portion but i don't need to open any shards i'm not doing this fusion uh, my goal for the fusion is to get one copy of the epic, and I would like to keep a copy of the rare as well. So I would like five copies of the rare. And so far, I think I just have the one. Yeah, I just have the one from the arena. So I don't know where I'm actually going to get them. If I don't end up getting the epic, I think that's okay. But we are i guess we're like a good sizable way in 
I guess I could try to do the Fire Knight, but I really would like to get these resources for the champion training. I got another day here, so I've been focusing on champion training. I would love to be able to get these. I don't know that I will, but I'm going to try. And so I have been just farming campaign. The energy that I have today, I plan on doing that as well. So that I can continue to progress my account. I just finished up some two stars. I've been also collecting these three stars for the fusion stuff that we have to do. And I think at this point, I just need more two stars. So I'm going to run maybe some girls in here. And we're going to continue leveling them up. So that's all for me today. What do you think about the progress updates on the free-to-play? And how is your free-to-play going or your main account if you're not doing a free-to-play? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.